I think two things at present. Uh, I think the ability to integrate um, tiny components into products that people really want to wear. Uh, and it's been well documented that people want to wear attractive devices. But actually, I think people want to wear technology that is integrated into what they already wear, whether that's jewellery or headphones or jackets. The components have got to get small enough and smart enough that they can get into what we already wear. And Intel's coming out with a product this year, Curie, which will be just the right product for that. And they've got to be, and we have to have the, the fashion industry, the lifestyle industry looking to technology uh, and getting smart enough to integrate technology into what people are wearing today. Definitely. Yeah, we know our core strength. We know we are not a fashion company. So we're starting partnerships with uh, Opening Ceremony, Barneys of New York, Fossil, um, SMS Audio. Uh, we've uh, got a partnership with Oakley. So yeah, we're absolutely looking to partner with organizations and work with them for groundbreaking wearables. Clearly, we've seen some strong investments from other corporations in the fashion industry. But I think over time, we'll, we'll work out that people have got to stick to their core strengths and work with a, with a new set of partners to bring groundbreaking products to the market. Working with our partners just represents a huge opportunity. If you think about where the computing industry has come from, the worldwide um, available market for the PC was, you know, it hung around 300 million for quite a long time. It doubled with tablet, and wearable technology will just create uh, billions of opportunities for a company like Intel. So rather than it being a challenge working with fashion and lifestyle brands, it actually represents a colossal opportunity. Make It Wearable was a competition we ran last year. It was extremely successful. And actually, Europe did really well in that competition. We had seven out of 10 finalists coming from Europe, uh, and three of those were from the UK. So we were, we were pretty excited about um, both the level of interest and Europe's performance in that. Make It Wearable was all about finding the most exciting technology uh, from startups, particularly around, around the globe. Um, and we found that we had products from all sorts of different walks of life. We're looking to enable a completely new industry. Part of that strategy is to work with select partners, global brands with whom we can bring to market uh, really exciting new products that kind of stimulate the industry, that show people just what's possible. But we also support the wider ecosystem, especially the startup industry, with products like Edison, which enable rapid prototyping that allow people to create a product and take it to market on the same device with uh, a small package but that can be used by startups and pro makers. Many would describe wearables as just one kind of angle of the Internet of Things. Wearables are connected devices that happen to be on the body. Uh, I think we'll find that wearables will be connecting with everyday devices around us, whether that's um, cameras or fridges or our heating systems at home. What we wear will be connected to uh, the internet of things around us, both at home and in the office.